Welcome back to Factorio C Block and TSM episode number 254. Now I've done a couple of minor things between episodes, um, which I, and I'll explain while I'm on this sulfur train very shortly. But basically, um, if we just pop back over here, um, I've added in some more processing of the uh, purified water locally in all of these mineral sludge places because it seemed to me a bit silly to just be getting rid of the uh, purified water um, and then bringing in extra oxygen and um, sulfuric acid um, I mean which we're still doing but we were doing it an awful lot um, when we had the supply of purified water which we could convert back to oxygen um, which we need in a couple of places here including making more sulfuric acid so uh, one way of reducing the demand on the sulfuric acid was to make better use in these facilities of the uh, purified water rather than just throwing it away so that's one change I made and I think I've done that to all these various places then the other is I'm not sure if I put this bit in previously but obviously now that I had two uh, types of ingredients coming in here in case there's any sitting in the inserter hands we need a means to clear that off the train so I've added in um, this little mechanism where these are blacklisted um, set filter same as these guys and that clears off any of the wrong ingredient so that's the little adjustments that I've done. Um, that leaves us with, uh, I'm on this train because we're constantly getting, um, well, A, this isn't ideally located. B, we've just got a normal train, which we potentially could have a um, bigger train, but I suspect the real problem, uh, and copper here, was actually um, was actually one of the major reasons why uh, we were getting a slowdown. If we leave what we're doing just for a moment um, up here, or was it up here, or even um, this one possibly? There you go. Copper coil is empty, so it's trying to order copper coil and it's struggling to get any and these are inadequate meaning that we now have an inadequate supply of the red circuits here um, and it appears we're actually getting some action happening here but it's reasonably slow although that's actually up to 5k so what I might have to do is create a train that only has partial capacity um, for these advanced processing units just to get them able to be delivered and useful in places um, and we can readdress that perhaps in the future if um, the right conditions are met. Um, I really need to get a radar up there as well but clearly the plastic I think has um, I mean I think it's slightly imprudent to suggest that plastic is fixed but um, plastic is not currently the problem. Oh, acetone gas is, oh, what, what is the problem here then? Uh, nitrogen gas, no. Um, okay, we're out of liquid. Oh, the mud here. Um, we're not clearing the mud fast enough now. <laughs> All this mechanism, it's turned this off, but um, ouch. Uh, yeah, that's that's not good. So that's something we're going to have to fix, um, which means I'm going to have to get off the sulfur train. But what I guess I really want to show you is that this is constantly... Um, constantly coming to the fore um, 
There's a, it looks like there's a, a little bit of mucking around. I was hoping to avoid some of the mucking around so that we could just progress, but it looks like we're going to have to do a little bit of mucking around and refinement um, to sort out the train because these guys shouldn't be waiting if there's supply. We should have another train probably going in there and maybe I should have bigger trains so that the same stops don't keep popping up with quite such a level of regularity. So I guess that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to jump off actually because we're right next to the make everything and I think what I'd like to do uh, let's see what happens when I turn this on um, trains good there zero um, I want to get the next level trains I think so that's this one Um, the Mark III. Uh, I want two, maybe three, so that would be six. Uh, six of those, and I just need four of the Mark III fluid wagons. Uh, we'll just wait for those to turn up. Now, um, what I think I want to do... Oh, the other thing I actually did was I changed the... Um, I changed these so that instead of using the old Bob symbol for sulfuric acid, we're using the angel symbol because that's likely to get changed in the next, or I guess, current patch of C block. So I changed that one as well. Um, but yes, this, this is crying out for another train. So if you have a look at the moment, um, this is where the sulfuric acid is, but the, uh, train, I think comes in, where does it come in? Sulfuric acid. This is the sulfuric acid um, supplier stops, the empty one and the full one, it's over there. So a full train fills up here, goes all the way over to here, then gets its marching orders when you have uh, this sort of situation. So instead of that, what I think I'd like to do is set this up to handle um, two sulfuric acid trains of twice the capacity and get rid of this one so a empty one will just go straight to there and then um, well the back around might be slightly longer it'll be something like that um, and then it can go off to wherever I think that'll be slightly more efficient for sulfuric acid and yes I haven't forgotten about making uh, the nutrient pulp more efficient we'll get to that also in this episode but let's handle this first so what I'm going to do is order up my train because that's why I actually got the six Mark III um, locomotives because I'm going to replace I'm going to finally replace this guy so it's going to move move a bit faster um, I will make it go manual Oh, of course you're full. Um, why do I have eight of those in there? That's just silly. Oh, it's the salt. It's the fuel that we're getting now that's um, filling me up. Ah, of course it is. Of course it is. Um, I don't need pumps. Oh, I don't need those pumps at the moment. Um, I probably don't need all of these things either because I just grab them as I need them. So we get rid of that and that one. 
So I have a little bit of space. That's better. Now, locomotive. Um, oh, Mark two. We must have put a Mark two on it at some point. So we're not getting quite as large a uh, upgrade as I was expecting or hoping or something. Um, fuel. Uh, and you can go away as well. Wait a minute. Mark three. Mark three. Uh, what else do I... Oh, that's right. It's replacing these because I said I wanted six. I don't need six anymore. <laughs> and you need four. Um, okay, let's just make it four. Probably other things in here that I can probably do away with. Yeah, that. Don't need this just at the moment. Um... All of those things I can grab again as I need them. Uh, what? Oh, I've said it's infinity, right. That also needs to be four, doesn't it? Otherwise it doesn't take them off me. That's better. Okay, right. With our newfound speed, let's now head up to... Uh, I guess here. And I'll grab a sip of coffee on the way. Four hundred and fifty three kilometers per hour, apparently. Okay, for now, I'm actually going to say stay. Um, you should be closer than you are. <laughs> um, that should be unnecessary. Oh, I see. Right, let's put that back then. I will just, um, make a copy of, uh, whoops. Make a copy of that, turn on my bots. Uh, okay, you're gonna have to move. Now, um... Two, isn't it? Yes. And you get to here, right? Okay. So that should be fine. And these will be um, sulfuric acid. Um, in fact, I might even just dash over here so that we find the. Right, that one, and um, there you go. So we've got the two sulfuric acids now. Um, what I'm going to do is 
while I think about it, I'll get rid of the ones that are over here. block this because we're not going to be very long now take me to um, yeah he'll do so we've freed up a standard slot for something um, maybe even the advanced processing units, although it's a long way away from home. So <laughs> we're creating a problem for ourselves in the future. Um, I am just going to pop out for the moment. Now this one is heading to empty, so that should be coming to our new stop, which it is. Um, oh, I didn't pick up those extra pumps, did I? Those better pumps. Never mind. Um, stop, please. Okay. Uh, now, let's get you the more advanced configuration. No. <laughs> um, it's Q that I needed anyway. Uh, yes, you go up there. So that's all good, except what I want to do is go. Um, I want to actually copy this train. No, we're going to have to use a blueprint. Um, copy trains. Forget train fuel. Oh, actually. Um, create blueprint. Uh, you can go to automatic. I let that train, the other one, go, didn't I? I need to go to the refuel station to set this up. Um, uh, okay, let's jump on board this train. We need to actually change the conditions now as well when the reorder points they can be set a little bit higher well actually it's not that important um it's not that important is it so you should have 100k on you where are you going uh oh and you're actually going to refuel that's kind of perfect Ah, <laughs> that's also already perfect, but this is clearly, um, I mean, the pumps are pretty fast, so it's not absolutely vital to get the faster pumps. Okay, let's jump out. Are you complete? Oh, I can't even tell. I guess you are. Um, let's get rid of that. Uh, perfect. Now, um,
you're actually struggling to get any because this is a very slow belt. <laughs> And it's not helped by the fact that now that we only have two, um, this is burning up this stuff a little bit slower. Okay, you're full now, and back here, I might as well just wait for it to get full, um, then send it on its way. This should fix up uh, sulfuric acid pretty well. Okay, we appear to be done, so um, off you go. Um, now, oh, what are you? Mineral sludge, interesting. Two seconds of inactivity. At least this filled up pretty quickly. And this end is completely full. Well, I'm not going to worry about you. Um, what I want to do now is head back to where we were working last episode actually there are some other things i'd like to do um i'm gonna quickly pop over to our alien science area you got 16, you've got 13. That's interesting. Uh, the yellow is very short. Probably means... Uh, oh, right. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I think I need 25 of each of these for the next level armor. That was the reason I came over here. Power armor mark four. Uh, I think it's mark three I'm up to. Yeah, 25 orange, 25 blue. So probably pushing this up to the maximum is something I should look at doing soon. But obviously, I don't think there's any more of these uh, techs that I need to do. So it's just a matter of accumulating these little caps. Um, and then we'll be able to do that. Do I want to throw away these at the moment? I collected some so that I could build my plasma. Um, my Mark II plasma, if you have a look at the recipes for the plasma turrets, they um, the Mark II uses just the normal artifacts. And then if you go beyond that, you start using the specialized ones. So I needed to get some of the, ta the um, capsules from there to be able to do it. Um, okay, so what we're trying to do is, um, I mean, it appears that plastic's been sorted out, but I don't really think that it has as such because of, um, because we're having trouble with acid getting to copper. Um, this wasn't really put under the pressure that perhaps it should have been. You can see it's maxed out, right? And I'm pretty sure its destination, which is only up here. Uh, actually, that's fine as well. But the reason it's fine, as much as anything, is probably just because uh, the requirement for the plastic has dropped away. Oh, because of this mud problem. I need to fix that mud problem. That's probably the first one. Then I'll come back and fix these trains. Um, so it's not the mud there. It's the mud up here. 
Um, we obviously have too much mud in one of these machines. Uh, seems to be this one. Is that going to let anything flow? I wonder if we probably have the same issue over here. 184, 128, 198. Seems like a somewhat temporary fix, doesn't it? You're now out of that, that's good. Uh, <laughs> there's still nothing in here. <laughs> is the mud water that we're using. We're using the product from this one. Um, and why? Oh, we have no product here because uh, we don't have enough of this one because we don't have enough of this one because this is now where our issue lies. Okay. Um, well, we'll let you empty close then, which is not going to be successful long term because they're all going to be emptying to the near side. Uh, yeah, because now you're just building up, aren't you? There's absolutely none of this <laughs> making it down because one five two one nine eight. All right. getting a little bit more action we are so it's actually producing some down here now is it must be down here you need some speed modules it seems fact um, 
All of these need some speed modules. So that appears to be quite a lot better. I'll just quickly check plastic. Oh, that's very good. That's a very good sign. We've, we're now handling the sulfuric acid just fine. Um, whoops, plastic. Um, yeah, there's no requirement on plastic. Okay, good, good. So this should be starting to drop now, I would think. 92, it's, <laughs> it's well in the safe zone though um, what we wanted to do is greatly simplify slash improve um, where these guys go so I basically want to build over here because we may as well make use of this um, Uh, two supply um, thingamies. And I don't have any pointing in that direction. I don't know if it's that necessary. It's just basically I need that. Um... And then I need to check if it's facing the right way, and of course it's not, so we'll have to take all those off. So I probably should have just built it again. Um, okay, we need one of those, one of those, one of those. If you're going that way, you should be like so. And then we need a chain, not a chain, sorry, a normal signal there and there. Um, now, I want this to go, um, whoops. Not sure quite how long I need it, so let's just have a look. Uh, a little bit longer. One, two, three, four, that's perfect. Um, although I probably want the double um, stop, and I want two because I've got well, I've got two basically, haven't I? Uh, copy, where's copy down here? Um, I probably should have done that around the other way. But we've somehow fluked it correct, so we don't need to worry now. Um, Probably don't need this uh, duplication. Sorry about that noise. Um, so one of these will be nutrient pulp, and we don't have a train for this yet, if I remember correctly. Um, and 
we'll need to find where the nutrient pulp is. It's see, this is way too far away. <laughs> um, there it is. There. So now that's a supply and. Do that again. And that's the uh, full supply, so the empty supply and the full supply. Uh, and I might just copy. So we've now effectively got three, but we'll change this to um, the whole hydrogen sulfide gas. Uh, hydrogen, that's that one there. No, it's not. Where's hydrogen sulfide gas? Um, that one. No, no. Hydrogen sulfide gas. Where are they again? <laughs> ah. That one. Hydrogen sulfide gas. Um, so I'll have to create a new train for that. Now, these ones... Um, Are we going to have to travel? I guess we are. So I'll call up my train, my new speed enhanced train. Which hopefully won't take too long. Now we'll go to this uh, most distant location, somewhere around about there. let you go because you're too much in the way this is it here uh, go to manual and then I'm going to get rid of these two uh, I may even jump on board and now I'm going to tell you to go to automatic so you're going to supply which is great so now we have another um, slot free because we're doing we're putting this um, depot in a much more convenient location. That tech's going up very slowly. <laughs> it's probably something we need to look at shortly as well, but um, for the meantime, this is fine. that proves it's able to get there oh and we're off already um, ah that's um, interesting so it has to because <laughs> of our one-way system it has to go a little bit further than ideal but it's still much closer than the other one so we're obviously starting to use this quite a lot more than we were and that's a good thing. Um, and then we have this much shorter trip back, which was what we were after in the first place. So just a, um, 
smart improvement and of course as soon as we get in here it's going to say yep you need to pop back around and um, fill up again which will take a slightly longer journey than may otherwise have been required but that's fine too And I'll get out here. Um, that's very full. We may need to boost that train up as well. I'm going to get rid of those for now. Um, oh, was that a good move? So how is this gas going? Um, it builds up very, very slowly. Which is interesting. Um, how much gas is actually needed in this hole? I suspect we're not going to need that much, right? 50 makes 50 enriched. Which gives us... Oh, we have... That's not the formula. That actually doesn't use any. Which is very interesting. Then you have to enrich this further. That doesn't effectively use any either. That gives you your twelve point five percent. What does this do exactly? Nothing. Suspect you have to do that for some reason. Um And again, a process that doesn't actually use any of the um, hydrogen sulfide. Which is very interesting. Not actually sure that I want hydrogen sulfide shipped anywhere anymore. Um, so that one is there an advantage making it cooler in this step? Doesn't appear to be. You want to get it to heavy water. Uh, that's a faster way of converting it, I guess. Four seconds versus two seconds so you probably want to do this even though it's just annoying <laughs> um, and what's this one you can put it into um, you can cool it but there's no usage of the cooled heavy water and a couple of recipes that shouldn't be there anymore 
So um, we're probably trying to get to this state so that we get to the deut deuterium gas, um, which we can then do this to, to make deuterium fuel cell. That's a very odd number of deuterium gas. Deuterium fuel cell two. Interesting. Okay, none of those others are particularly interesting. That's a technology that we haven't bothered with to this point. And probably won't. Um... So I guess, I mean, what's, this is um, 120 gigajoules uh, versus 80 gigajoules. Five fusion catalysts, for, oh, versus one fusion catalyst, right. Um, so that seems to be a, a slightly more efficient conversion rate, right? Eighty from a single fu fusion catalyst versus one twenty from five fusion catalysts. Oh, we get ten. We also get ten of these. So yeah, unless we're trying to use up the fusion catalysts, it looks like the recipe one is going to be better for us so we'll probably go that way um so i guess um i could probably use because i'd like to save this area in case i need to push the uh, nutrient pulp more we've got plenty of room to do it but i could bleed this gas off down here and turn it into deuterium gas. I suspect that's something I want to do. Um, now, the other thing, we're running out of time, so I'm probably not going to start that project. But the other thing that we want to do, well, we need a, um, we need a radar up here, definitely, because um, maybe if I put it right up the top, well, it can be big enough to cover all this area, which would be good. Um, I want to see how this is doing. Um, we actually have 8,000 of these um, circuits now, which is fantastic um, because that's actually an, an awful lot. <laughs> um, oh, that's that's pretty good too. We're actually using 500, well, half a giga, half a gigawatt now um, of power. Um, in fact, what I'm going to quickly check is 654. So I don't know if those plutonium um, things are actually going up still. But um, that is very good. Now what I'm probably planning is obviously we can't just go straight across here because we went down a little bit too far, but we could go straight across here and maybe maybe I could make another train stop here and set up the deuterium um, processing. It's not that we actually need it just yet, but we're probably getting to a point where we will. Um, this is still only using the top three. There's Factorio uh, fluid mechanics for you. Why is it that this would go all the way down here to fill and use all of these, but only use the top three here? Is there some, some reason for this? That's generating power, this is not. And these are all jammed full. Oh, 
And what about up here? They're all jammed full as well. I mean, the obvious next step when we need more power is just to double this thing up. But I would quite like to get the deuter deuterium underway. But I also, probably with higher priority, need to um, do this part, the advanced modules. Uh, what is this carry on? Oh, that's a um, that's what I use to build this stuff. I probably need to um, push the speed of this so that it can work a little bit faster. I seem to remember we had a we had an issue um, where we're not producing any more of the prods because one of these things has maxed out. This one basically is maxed out. I don't know what you can actually do with those splinters when you are maxed out. Agriculture module. Agriculture module. What does that actually do? Machine will have higher y yields. What machine does it go in? Um, are these in here? No. Agriculture module. Uh, maybe it was a work in progress that the latest version has finally um, got something for. But I guess what I really need to do is have a means of um, balancing these items so that we can keep pushing the ones that we actually want. Um, Not exactly sure what that is. But it's kind of obvious the efficiencies are going to cause us a problem over time. Uh, Am I able to build? I can build these things. Okay. Maybe I need to create a buffer warehouse. Not quite sure what I would put as its request though. Um, I think I've got a bit of an idea in my head, so how about 
I get a train to come and pick me up. I'll quickly pop up there and see if we can do something to free up the modules. So where is my train? Come and get me. Uh, take me up to modules, please. Um, PSA. At 450 kilometers per hour. <laughs> it's a lot faster than I can run. Um, and you can go away. Now, um, if we make a buffer warehouse, I think that's what I want. And I get a constant combinator, I guess. And I'll put um, minus, uh, where are these shard things there? Uh, where are they? Here we go. Right. So the uh, polished version. Um, actually, what do we have in here? We have the polished version. We're requesting the cut version. Okay, so the polished version, um, the polished version, minus four, one, two, three, four thousand. Um, and that one, minus four thousand. And the blue one, minus four thousand. Um, and uh, we need to, we don't want to ever get the green wheels, so let's go minus like a million. Um, and I will then connect this up with wire. And set requests. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. That's not quite right. We also need to say we don't want these ones ever. Um... Gonna give you another zero just so that everything's consistent, right? Oh, that might be too many. Uh, oh, and oh, can you not order from? I may have stuffed this up. We might actually need this to be a, a normal requested chest. Uh, the blue one. Because I need it to be able to order from buffer chests. Or maybe I just need to turn these into requester chests. Hmm. 
no, that's not going to work because then I'd never be able to order here. All right, what am I missing? I am missing steel. All right, let's grab some steel. There's got to be some somewhere. This looks a lot like steel. a warehouse request warehouse request from buffer chests so this should free everything up Eventually. So this allows this to process, which means that, uh, actually that's not what's causing the problem. Um, we have 11 raw crystal splinters. You have um a problem with your small biters for some reason small biters it can't unload anymore because you're full holy smokes <laughs> uh right okay in that case Obviously, as you're the only place where the small biters get used up, um, what we need to do is have this one wired and enabled only um, small biters. Uh, less than... Say four thousand. Um, now you need to pick up that, put it in there. Have I done enough for this to carry on? Yes, it would seem. And with that, um, I think we're going to have to stop for this episode. So thanks for joining me. Look forward to seeing you in the next. Bye-bye for now.